How, how do you both feel when you see all of that and you realise how powerful that whole storyline between them has been and that the fact that you would have to be dealing with such an important storyline as domestic abuse? Um, you well, go, it's, it, it's always, as an actor, it's always interesting to get a variety of different storylines and the soaps are rife for different stories, so it's been lovely to play this sort of story from our perspective as actors. Obviously, it's quite a harrowing subject matter to, to take on, on board, particularly the, the twist with it being a, a, a woman sort mm -hmm. of abusing a man in this yeah. case. Mm -hmm. But it's, it, from my point of view, it's just been fantastic to play and it's, it's offered us a great opportunity to have a different sort of chemistry on, mm -hmm. on the screen this time. It's not just the love story, it's the sort of the, the tearing apart of the relationship, mm -hmm. which what, has been interesting to play. What did you think, Gemma, when you saw the script? Because, you know, as James said, it's the, it's the opposite way around to how often it's mm. portrayed domestic violence. I mean, I knew it was a, a, an amazing opportunity, like James said, for, for me and him to sort of... Because we work so well together and we always, like... We, we sort of embrace having that to, that work to, to do together, really. But it did break my heart, I'll be honest. I remember when I, I told James, you know, that that's what was on the cards and what the producers were talking about. And even you went, oh, really? Because it's just... Sam yeah. and Rachel were just so pure and good together mm. but actually that's why mm. it's a really good thing to show yeah. that this can happen yeah. in a I'm loving just, relationship. I'm just looking there um, again at uh, one of the attacks on, on Sam there mm. that we saw there. Y you know we can imagine what it's like to be uh, passionate to play love scenes and all that sort of thing. What is it like to be um, physically violent like that? Were they difficult to, to film? What did I do? <laughs> I couldn't even get through she rehearsals. Should, she should sometimes <laughs> cry at the end of rehearsals and takes and stuff like that. But um, it's, awful. It's, it's, it's I found I found it very interesting to play. I've not played mm. uh, that particular type of, of mm. uh, relationship out before. Um, so it was yeah. It was, it but you had to physically throw things at him yeah. and hurt him, which is. It was it was horrible oh. for me and like James. But well, I mean James is brilliant. So like I had his trust and I knew that. You know, I know, I know it's not real, but when you care about somebody so much mm -hmm. and you're doing something that is so out of character for me as a person, but also for Rachel, you know, it's very hard to, to, to film that, but, yeah. you know, he's, he's, he's a good one and, and we got through it and I just hope that what we've done is portrayed it in, not just in an out and outright villainous uh, way, right. but shown the different you know, layers. Mm -hmm. and, 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 it's, and it's interesting, James, what's Sam going to do without her, perversely? What's, what's the future, do you think, hold for him? I don't know. At the moment, I think he's still licking his wounds because uh, I, I, I think the, the, the love that the two characters have got for each other is still there. But obviously, they've, they, they've had to realise that they, they're going to have to, to enable them both to survive, they've got to split apart in some way. Mm -hmm. So, And also, the, the door's still, still left open for Rachel to... OK, this is tonight. Mm -hmm. We've got a clip now of uh, what is going to happen. Let's have a look. Look, about the custody thing... Yeah, that's what I've come to talk to you about. I know what the judge said, but please, Rachel, I need to see my son more. And you can. With supervised visits, as we agreed. I'm not some criminal! It's that or nothing. I'm his dad! And there's another condition. You're gonna have to come to Liverpool. Because that's where we're moving. Yeah. yeah. OK. You said nice things. <laughs> well, that's tonight. It's going to be, like you said, a very emotional journey for them. Um, you two must have, have created a great friendship because you've worked together for a long time now. What are you like together on set? You know, not as the characters, but just the two of you. Um, I think we know each other very well. When we both don't want to speak and we need to sleep, we go off and, like, try and find a little corner, don't we? And then if we're both being mm -hmm. daft like kids, we can drive any director mad, I think. Um, but I'm <laughs> you just been saying then, he called me a swat. As soon as I started <laughs> work four years ago, it was like, it was great because, you know, he had somebody to, to work with and stuff. I think, but it was I think the words just, uh, she's professional. 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 <laughs> so <you're incompatible. laughs>